Hey Panther educators, it's the long-awaited video on manually syncing your Sapphire and Schoology gradebooks. So, um, first thing I'd like to say is if you encounter any problems doing this process or you're not comfortable doing this process or you're not sure what you're doing um, and you're not clicking with confidence, please contact me and I will either do it for you or run through the process with you so that um, we don't cause some compound problems, which has occurred with other people's grade books so far this year. So um, so I'm using uh, some business uh, classes as my example here. I'm currently teaching high school business because I am serious business. And uh, I'm going to show you how to manually sync the grade books between Sapphire and Schoology. So uh, this is an intro to business class that I have. Notice it's section one, period four. The period doesn't matter. The section is very, very important. Uh, I also have uh, another section, period five. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, and when I look at the grade book in Schoology, the second marking period, and Sapphire, uh, my grades are identical. Okay. Um, I am going to point out one thing here. This student, uh, there are no grades showing in Sapphire, right? Uh, just a percentage here. And if you see that and there's nothing across here, that means that that student is not uh, sinking into Sapphire from the Schoology gradebook. And I'm going to show you how to address that. Now, in this case, this student was actually out for an extended medical leave uh, and he actually doesn't have any grades right now. So um, the sync process that I'm going to demonstrate isn't really going to take care of this issue because there, as you'll see, there are no grades over in Schoology either. See, there's nothing there. So, uh, but I'm going to show you how to uh, sync individual students as well as everything else. So the first thing I want to point out is that you can't be logged into Sapphire. You cannot be logged into Sapphire anywhere if you're doing the Schoology gradebook sync, because it will cause all kinds of problems in your Sapphire gradebook, double columns, ghost columns, blank columns, weird grades coming across. Okay. So you need to log out. If you just close this tab, you're not actually logging out. All right. So you want to come up here, click on your name, click log out. And if you have a screen like this, uh, you want to uh, instead of that previous grade screen, you want to make sure you log out there as well. And then you want to close those tabs. Okay. Now you're logged out. If you are logged into Sapphire anywhere on this uh, computer in a different uh, browser window, a different browser like Firefox or Microsoft Edge on a different device like a Chromebook or your phone, if you're logged into Sapphire anywhere, when you do this process, you could really end up with some weird, funky stuff in your gradebook that has to be fixed manually. And we can get that fixed. It just takes time and effort. And it's really just easier if you're not signed into Sapphire. So, OK, there you go. So inside Schoology, again, inside Schoology, I'm in my Intro to Business Section 1 class. And I'm going to come down here and click on Sapphire Software. And this is where the manual sync takes place. And that will load a window that's going to ask me to log into Sapphire while I'm in Schoology. And I'm going to use the login with Azure. That's our Microsoft single sign-on uh, service. So uh, that's my account. You can also autofill or uh, type in your credentials if you'd like. Um, I have Sapphire rights in all three buildings, so I have to choose a school here. If you're only in one school, it'll populate automatically for you. So I pick Schuylkill Valley High School, which is where these classes are, and I click sign on. And now what it's doing is it's establishing the connection from Schoology to Sapphire. Okay, so when you come in here and you need to manually sync, um, in most cases, you just need to click sync class. And um, Sapphire informed us when we first uh, signed on with Schoology and we were talking about gradebook sync that the sync occurs every night overnight. And actually there are other triggers for the gradebook sync. So your gradebook may be syncing multiple times during the day, but it syncs at least once overnight um, automatically. But Sapphire 
uh, software customer support recommended that teachers at Schuylkill Valley manually sync once every week or two just to take care of any kind of weird issues that might occur during the auto sync for whatever reason. We didn't get any specifics on that, but we have seen several cases this year where something uh, weird shows up in Sapphire and the manual sync that I'm showing you here takes care of it. So you would just hit sync class here on the fifth tab and that would be it. But I'm gonna take you through the entire process here to show you some other uh, things that have happened uh, to some other teacher grade books and how to fix them. Um, and again, if you're uncomfortable with any of this or you're not sure, please contact me and I'll help you go through it and we'll get you all fixed up rather than causing more damage. Don't be a damage multiplier. All right, first thing, um, notice right here, link to Sapphire class, intro business section one. That's exactly what I want. That's the Sapphire section that this Schoology class is going to map to. Now, if you're not seeing any grades for your class in Sapphire, but you have them all in Schoology, this is where your issue is. You're probably pointing to the wrong class, the wrong section. I've seen that a whole lot. Again, this is intro to business section one, but perhaps maybe I'm you know, syncing to intro to business section two. That's not gonna work because the students and the assignments aren't matching up, okay? So that is the proper one. If this is blank, you're going to have to manually uh, select the proper section. And remember, your section is not necessarily the period of the day when it meets. Okay, so this intro to business section one actually meets fourth period. This intro to business section two meets fifth period. And that's not indicated anywhere in here. So you actually have to know the section number, which you can get in Sapphire if you're not sure. Okay, uh, so first thing over on the first tab here, marking periods. You want to make sure that your first marking period in um, Sapphire matches first marking period in Schoology. You should have done this at the very beginning of the year. This should all match up and you should have these four check marks enabled so that all grades are syncing. And you can either click next down here at the bottom or you can click the students tab at the top and go to the next one. Now, if you have one student that's not mapping or, you know, the grades are not coming in Sapphire, like um, like uh, this student was, uh, there are no grades in Sapphire. Now, again, there are no grades in Schoology, so that's the issue. But if you have a student who has grades in Schoology, but they're not coming into Sapphire, you want to come onto the second tab here, students, and I'm going to click remove mapping to Logan George. And then It'll turn green and then it'll suggest that I map to Logan George. I'm just going to click this and it's going to look exactly like it did before I just clicked those. It goes back to red mapping to Logan George and you'll think that's dumb and it might be, but that will be a manual trigger to Schoology to make sure you send those student grades to that student profile in Sapphire. And for whatever reason, that works. Okay, categories. This has been kind of a, a problem for a lot of people. So especially if you have many categories in your grade book. So here you'll notice I'm mapping assignments to assignments. There's a default category that I never put any grades in in Schoology. And I'm clicking ignore here. Anything that's ignored, uh, any category that's ignored will not uh, sync to the Schoology or to the Sapphire gradebook. So you're, you know, if you have a homework category and it says ignore, or you have three homework categories, which I've seen, which happens because you've run the initial setup three times at the beginning of the school year, and you're ignoring some of them. And then if you accidentally select that category in Schoology, your homework two category, and it's being ignored, those grades won't go over and your Sapphire grades are not correct. Okay. So I can clean up this area for you if you've got multiple categories with the same name, um, but we have to do that in Sapphire and that's a little bit labor intensive, uh, but I know how to fix that. So if you're having that issue, let me know. But in this case, you can see here, marking period one, two, three, four, assignments are going to assignments in all four categories, uh, all four marking periods, and that's exactly what I want. Gonna click next, assignments. You don't have to worry about anything here. If you're having any issues with individual assignments not populating, let me know. 
Um, it's as simple as removing the mapping, but there might be a, another problem in Sapphire. I'm not going to worry about that. Usually, you know, 99% of the time, you have to do absolutely nothing on this assignments tab. And then we get back over to the sync tab and we hit sync class. Okay. And it says it's syncing. And then if everything goes properly, I'll see the sync log. And, um, and then uh, if there are any new grades coming in, that'll I'll get a little yellow box that says grade recalculation in progress. And that means that it's updating all my grades. Now I haven't up, I haven't added any grades in Schoology since the last sync I did, which was, you know, just 15 minutes ago. So I didn't get that little recalculation window, but you can see here, if I look at the log, these are all the auto sync, these numbers, right? The user, these are the auto sync from Schoology to Sapphire. And you can see the times that they're occurring and there are all kinds of different reasons for, for those triggers, right? And then you'll see the, the, the last two, it says synced by me. That's because it was a manual sync, okay? So now in this class, I'm done. I've, I've done the manual sync. I wanna click log out. And this is really important. If you don't log out of Sapphire inside Schoology, when we open Sapphire, we're going to have problems. So um, just a little heads up here that the, um, the sync process can take up to half an hour. So after you do that manual sync, wait about 30 minutes until you open Sapphire. Um, one of the other things that we've learned is that the grades sync, the, the individual assignments sync almost immediately from Schoology to Sapphire, but the, Sa the Sapphire calculations, the overall grade calculation is what can take up to 30 minutes. So if you log into Sapphire right away and you look at your uh, overall grades, they may not match Schoology. Give it time, log out of Sapphire, log back in about 30 minutes later, they should match, okay? Whatever you do, don't click the save button in Sapphire while that sync process is going on. That again, creates all kinds of funkiness. All right, so I hope that helps. If you need any help with any of that, please ask. If you just click around wildly, you could be a damage multiplier. If you need any help, ask, I'll come and run in.